Vintage Singer Sewn Sheen. You might be wondering where the hell did I get this from? Um, to be truthful, I got this from the trash bin. In one of the containers, there was not one, but two Zinger sewing machines. I'm not sure what kind of a model this is. Uh, I think it's a 99K. But again, I'm not any, you know, I'm not any sewing machine expert. All I know, uh, all I know is that from reading the uh, serial number on this, which starts with Y83. Y83, I checked it on the interwebs, uh, that would be manufacturing year 1931, I think. These are Zimanco motor controllers made in uh, Great Britain. They were original because they do have the Zinger brand on them. And since I do have both machines here, I took both the motor controllers out to test them and unfortunately neither of them are doing what they're supposed to do as in you know uh, limiting power it's either on and off and whether whenever it's on it just blows the fuse in the house uh, but I'm not sure if that's due to you know me not knowing how to use these things these things being old and broken, or sits on these sewing motor controllers, it says 150 to 250 volts, 0.3 amps. Uh, does that mean that they deliver 0.3 amps, or does that mean that they need 0.3 amps? If it's the latter, then I've got a problem because there is no way I can deliver exactly 0.3 amps or somewhere close to it. To them because I don't have a power supply that I that can you know deliver different amplitude. So um, basically, I ordered a new motor of uh, the internet. It's not an original Zinger motor. It's probably Chinese, but it's supposed to fit the model. It looks pretty much the same. It's black and it got the it's got this side mount thingy wingy. So. Um, Honestly, for me, right here, I just want to have this into be, to be a good looking but also functioning machine. Uh, and as you can see, these lovely cables have to install them myself um, just to see if there's any life in this. And unfortunately, I can't get the motors to spin. The plan forward with this machine here is to clean it up, lube it up, because right now it is squealing like hell. Just listen to this wonderful sound. music to my ears. So, I think without further ado, it's time to get straight into it. Alright, so I think the first thing that needs to be done is I need to get myself a good old hoovering, clean this all up with a hoover. This is a, you know, opening system, so it flips up. Uh, in here we've got a hundred year old dust and grime that also will need to be removed. And after that, I'm gonna get some degreaser and cleaner and just start wiping this off. So, this is before, and this is after. Alright, I think that's a wee bit better, isn't it? It's looking pretty alrighty, nice and shiny again. I did not touch this part here, although I managed to find this Bakelite screw top thingy nut to fit this, because this is so rusted that there is no point in you know trying to clean this up, I'm just going to grind it down and paint it with hammerite again, but this thing here is looking pretty pretty good. Obviously, let me try to, there we go, obviously as you can see it has lost a wee bit of its gold, uh, you know, embellishments and stuff like that, but it's still roughly there. You know, I'm not going to try to make this into a you know full out restoration where uh, everything looks brand new. I want it to you know to look like it is almost a hundred year old because because it is right. So um, now I'm going to try to fix the squealing, which is you know, s still here. So um, yes, I've just finished up oiling all the 
instruments and mechanisms and stuff like that inside this machine, I must say, it is now butter smooth. No, nothing. And honestly, it's, it seems that this machine is working perfectly fine. I mean, everything works. The lever to lift the leg thingy works perfectly. Everything just spins as it should. So that is great. And it's, you know, after the lubing, it's totally silent. It's like, it's in great shape. Everything works. Everything spins. So now, I've also polished up a bit of... Let's try to give you a bit of a nice... There we go. We've polished these lovely silvery thingies. This side and on this side. I must say they look gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. I always like working with, you know, 20s, 30s and stuff like machines. Because back then these things were so bloody expensive that if you bought one, that if you actually could afford one, you wouldn't just buy something that works, it also needed to look the part. And pretty much all the, you know, 40s and downwards machines, they are just absolutely beautiful. I mean, I, I look, look at the styling, the gold lettering, the silver, you know, engraved plates on the sides, the, the gold down here, down the bottom, everything is just luxurious and also I've managed to source out a beautiful Zynga light from my parts model over there let me see if you can there we go that's the parts machine I use it for you know parts and then this one let me see if I can do this there we go this machine is you know the real one so um yeah, this light should be fine, should work, looks good, and the switch and all this works, so I think this will be a beautiful addition to this sewing machine. Alright, this is the machine that I took off the um, sewing machine, or the mechanism, and I just cleaned it and lubed it and made sure everything is, you know, freed again and runs. And I must say, this is a very mesmerizing mechanism. So this is going to be a bit, bit noisy, but just look at them. We'll look at the, how how this thing works. It's like a clock. Absolutely beautiful. We've got everything screwed back together. It is working just as it's supposed to be. Everything is running nice and quietly, like a charm. Got this mechanism here mounted as well and fully working. We got the lovely lights mounted, got everything cleaned and oiled. I must say this machine is getting better and better every time I touch it. <laughs> I mean, it's just so fun. And next time we'll meet is, will be probably when I, you know, get, get the new electric motor for the machine and, you know, wire it up and test it. Also, I need to get a needle for this because it's, it's missing the needle thingy and, you know, thread and stuff like that. As I said, I'm not an expert in sewing machines. I have sewn with a machine before, but <laughs> this will be fun. Anyways, thank you for staying with me for this lovely trip back to the 30s. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, go ahead. If you've got any tips, go ahead, write everything in the comments. Um, it would help me a lot. You know, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And again, this time it's going to sound very strange, but as always, keep on riding the, the sewing machine. <laughs> Bye.